Hey everybody, it's Stephanie from Modern Society. How are you guys doing today? I have a fun project that I wanna share with you and I thought I would give you some tips and tricks on this modern ditty bag that help me to kind of get my brain. I talk a lot on my podcast. If you're not familiar with the Modern Society podcast, that's my podcast where I talk with creatives in the sewing industry, but I talk a lot about being a visual learner. I like to see things and get it in my brain and it's so much easier to make things after that. So I'm gonna go through a couple of the pattern pieces and some tricks to kind of get your brain going. That is what she's talking about in this pattern because it makes no sense to me. Trust me, I'm always there with you. So I thought a video would kind of be helpful. Okay, so we, I'm doing words of wisdom. I'm actually started this whole idea of, of making back to school bags for my girls' teachers. When they leave the classroom, they always throw a bag on their shoulder with the class roster in it. It has wipes, it has sanitizer, some band-aids, and you know, um, their, their little walkie-talkie that they have, and whatever else. You know, sometimes there's snacks in there, or their drink, or whatever. So, we live in Florida. <laughs> so, usually a bottle of water in case a kid gets thirsty or whatever. So, they looked awful last year, and I thought, okay, for my girls back to school, I'm going to make their teachers some bags. And Michael Miller um, has a designer, Tamara Kate, that has amazing, amazing lines. They're so bright and vibrant, and her newest one that's coming out is Words of Wisdom, and it's, it's a panel that you can get different blocks. So this is one of them, um, Live in the Moment, and then I just put these two side panels. So these are your side panels and this is your middle panel. Now you could do something different here and do two pocket panels. That's totally doable. That is the fun part about this modern ditty bag is you can really make it whatever you want it to be. So here is the other panel that I have. These are the top panels. So this is the one where I have a little pocket here and then my two side panels. This is actually Tamara's Frolic line that I think is now available. There's also knits of this line that are amazing. My kids love these knits, but they also love these patterns too. So I, with this, just have batting and some stabilizer. Just whatever scrap batting you have will work. And I really like this sulky, soft and sheer extra stabilizer. So much so that I ran out of it. So that's not actually the, <laughs> what's on the back of this, but this is what I use and really, really like. And I have a link to it in the pattern. So if you wanna get this, like I said, you can use all those extra batting scraps that you have and then iron this just right on the top. So it is the panel, batting, and then the stabilizer. And then if you wanna quilt these, you just quilt it like that. It's super easy. Okay, handles are another thing. <sighs> I use cotton with the one I'm gonna show you in a little bit, and then I just put a little strap of batting in to give it a little bit more heft. This is Cloud Nine's Tinted Denim. I did not do that with this. What you do with these straps is they're wide, and then you iron it and make a center point, and then you fold the two edges into the center, and so this is four layers of denim. With four layers of denim, I really didn't need to add any stabilizer in here because this is pretty hefty right now. Um, and then you just edge stitch. Now, I could have done a couple more rows of stitching in here. That's totally fine. Like I said, customize it how you want. So this strap gets sewn right here. And the thing that you have to worry about is making sure this doesn't twist. So you're going to pin it right here, and I just line it up here with that little line right here. And you're going to mark your point in the pattern. I I'm thinking, I don't remember what I put in the pattern, but you're going to mark that and you're going to, you're going to sew all the way up from here. You're going to go here over, make a little box and go back down this side. And it's going to leave you about two inches right here. You want to leave that because you're going to flop these straps out of the way when you put the whole bag together. So make sure to not twist this when you go back to this side and you're just going to put it here on the edge and you're gonna sew the same way. Just make sure that this strap doesn't get twisted when you put it down. You wanna make sure that it's in a straight line. And it will make sense. When you do it and you lay it down and you think, okay, I just need to make sure it's not twisted and bring it back over here. And I like to do both of my panels at the same time. 
pin them and mark them and then it's just real easy just sew them on and you get that out of the way and then you add your bottom piece so I have my bottom pieces I'm gonna do denim for the bottom on this one with another cloud nine denim since it's denim I just have batting on the back I could put stabilizer that would totally make it even better um, I'm using so much stabilizer and running out so that's why I'm not doing it but like I said this is if you don't have it then just go with it so when your straps are there you're just gonna add your bottom piece here and you're gonna put you're gonna sew those straps and the pocket and everything right into place and that's gonna give you one side of the bag and then you're gonna do that twice so you're gonna have two sides of your bag and then you're gonna have your lining that is just a big rectangle that you're gonna sew right sides together here is a tricky part so when I say you want to triangle up your and take a triangle out of your little bottom seam to make your boxy corners you really kind of want to do this and just you know feel right here you can kind of feel that those seams are lined up sometimes I get a pin and stick it in there so your I wanted you to measure four inches down so that's from here down you're gonna measure four inches and draw a line across so on that line cut off your excess and what if that is going to do is really box up your tote i feel like when totes are just like this sometimes they can flop over and i thought for the teachers i wanted them to be able to set it down and it not flop over so that's why i really box these corners a lot so here is the finished bag and here's what i'm talking about when i say that boxed corner you really can get a good hefty bag when you box that corner and that's how you do it so you're going to do that for the outside of the bag and for the lining and here is one that says what does this one say oh happy day and here is the other side i kind of pieced a couple of uh, scraps that i had and <laughs> I did this they have those walkie talkies so I thought you know what on this one I'm gonna see if they can clip it on there it might work it might not um, and then just a little pocket here like I said a good boxed corner now these are the cotton straps with a one strip of batting in between they're a little floppy but super durable and then at the end this is where I stopped my seam line when I did remember I sew the straps all the way up go over and make an X and then go all the way down they flopped a little bit and I didn't like it so when I was all done putting the bag together and I sewed my seam around the top and secured all my lining in I went back and just did right here on the straps just a simple little stitch line so it doesn't flop down as much and I think that works really well and the inside is kittens on this one I did add an inside pocket you don't have to do that the pattern doesn't you can kind of do whatever you want for the inside um, but this is like a little wipeable cat fabric the other one was um, just something I got at Hobby Lobby it is kind of a canvas type fabric and it's a little bit different it's not wipeable but definitely sturdy and I think it'll work I hope that you make your own modern ditty bag. I'm so excited about this project. And this is my 1600P from Janome. Let me tell you how much I love this machine. It is amazing and it is so fast. So when I'm talking about sewing through all of those layers, it does it with ease. I never have to worry about it. I could even put leather handles on this bag and sew through all those layers with this machine. It is just a workhorse. One thing that I did do with this bag is I used a 30 weight thread from Sulky and they come in these big cones that are so amazing to put on this machine because I, I'm a neutral thread girl. I usually leave it on there all the time. But the 30 weight really shows up in your stitching. I mean, it just really gives it a good pop um, and it's sturdier for a bag making purpose. Uh, I do think that sometimes poly is a good idea because it doesn't break as much as and wear as much as cotton. I'm just a quilter that likes to keep the same thing in my machine. So I didn't change it up because I know a lot of you know me as a quilter. So I thought that's probably what they're gonna use you can use poly with this too as well or a heavy duty thread is would work as well um i i just can't say enough i also use my havels p 
pink cutting mat, which you can see right there, and my big 60 millimeter cutter. Now, why do I use that ginormous cutter? Because I like to to cut as many layers as I can at one time or that denim or leather, that is really, 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 really useful for that. So if you want a coupon code to get your own Havels um, rotary cutter and cutting mat or scissors, you can do that. I have a coupon code for that in the directions. And I hope that you make this. If you do, use the hashtag Modern Ditty Bag. Let me know. I can't wait to see. And if you haven't checked out the Modern Society podcast, I would love to have you over. I'm about to start my new season, and I'm going to have all kinds of new guests on. I'm so excited, and I'm also going to invite some people who have been on in over 100 episodes that I've had so far. It is going to be great. I cannot wait. And thank you, Janome, for sponsoring this and Sulky and Havels and Michael Miller for sending me fabric and for Cloud9 for this awesome tinted denim. Thank you, guys. I hope that you make it and happy sewing.